Hi, I'm Chris from Oxford in the United Kingdom. I've been in Hangzhou for about three years teaching economics. Right now, I'm still at the Westlake. South of the beautiful Westlake in Hangzhou, erected a famous tower called Leifeng Pagoda. It is associated with a touching love story, the legend of White Snake, that many Chinese proudly call China's Romeo and Juliet. Legend has it that a white snake called Bai Sujian transformed into a girl to requite the favour of Shu Xian, saving her life. They met on the broken bridge of Westlake and fell in love with each other at first sight. Soon, they were married. However, Fa Hai, as a powerful monk, upheld the idea of eliminating demons and captured Bai Sujian and imprisoned her under Leifeng Pagoda, setting the couple apart. Finally, the tower was torn down and Bai Sujian and Shu Xian lived happily ever after. In ancient China, the pagoda means protection, hope, and a prayer for a country and the people. Pagodas also make up the city skyline in the past. Leifeng Pagoda was built in 977 AD and situated on Sunset Hill south of Westlake. Dating back to North Song Dynasty, the king of Wu Yue Kingdom, ordered to build a pagoda in order to celebrate the birth of a son by his favourite concubine. However, in the second year, 1120 AD, during the Xuanhe period of the Northern Song Dynasty, the pagoda was severely damaged by war. Later, it was renovated during the Qingyuan period, 1195 AD to 1200 AD, of the Southern Song Dynasty. Since then, Leifeng Pagoda in the Evening Glow has been famed as one of the top 10 scenes in Westlake. During the Jia Jing period of the Ming Dynasty, pirates invaded Hangzhou and burned the tower down for fear that soldiers lay in ambush there. As a result, all the wooden structures were ruined and only brick framework remained. What's worse, the bricks were stolen gradually from the late Qing Dynasty to the early Republic of China because local people believed that these bricks could exercise evil spirits, bless people with many children, and promote the growth of silkworms. Consequently, the tower fell down on September 25th, 1924. The site was cleaned up and the underground palace was excavated from 2000 to 2001. A great number of cultural relics were found, including gilded bronze statues of Buddha, bronze mirrors, bronze coins, jade figures, and a gilded stupa inside an iron box of Buddhist relics. On December 26, 2000, the foundation of the new tower was laid. The construction was completed on October 25, 2002. The current Leifeng Pagoda is comprised of three parts, the pedestal, the body part, and the top. The octagonal pagoda is 72 meters high. The relics of the ancient tower are preserved on two basement stories. Tourists can see the ancient bricks of the original tower through glass. Inside the tower are two elevators which can carry tourists to the top. The roof is covered with bronze tiles which resemble terracotta tiles. Under the roof hang bronze chimes which make melodious sounds when blown by the wind. As the commanding height of the southern line of the West Lake, the new Leifeng Pagoda allows visitors to have a panoramic view of the rippling West Lake when looking outside on the fifth floor of the tower. The beautiful view Leifeng Pagoda in evening glow, which has disappeared for more than 70 years, is reproduced. Hangzhou